There we go. Bite that fish. Oh, he's running. Have you ever watched one of these fishing shows and wondered if those techniques would work? Will you fish? Well, I have, and I was watching Florida sport fishing the other day, and I decided I wanted to try something they were doing, so that's what we're doing today. The Krakenoon fishing team is heading out about, it's about 1.30. Luckily, the wind's been picking up all day, of course. And uh, we're gonna go out offshore and try a little bit of wreck fishing, and I'm gonna be using uh, basically a big chicken rig that, again, I saw on TV, and also, we got some nice, uh, nice new rods and some lures from a company, uh, which we're going to be trying out too. So we're trying some new stuff, trying to catch some fish. Um, so uh, of course, all the rigs and tackle will show you at the end of the video how we did it. But uh, let's get out there. We can get out the inlet and uh, and see what's going on. Hopefully, we can even get out there. All right, Darcy got a fish on. That's a monster runner on, on there. Never really was shooting for, but we caught a fish. All right, monster runner right here. This is a big boy. I mean, they don't get much bigger than this, but this is definitely a wreck fish. Lives on the wreck down deep. Uh, but we're, the chicken rig is working for us today, so we're about to drop it down again, and we're using some fresh squid. A nice fish. I'm going to go ahead and release it. Bye. I got another fish on. Real woman. Pull it up. Ugh. Pull he's up. gone, he's gone. I can't stop non-stop when we're running. There we go. Ugh. Bite that fish! Ugh, he's running. Ugh. Come on. You might be in the wreck. Oh, broke off. All right, don't know what that was, but it was a big fish. Took a monster run. It was weird. He was like digging, 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 and then he would kind of give up, and I would get a few feet back, and then he would dig again, and he just broke me off. I don't know what it was. We are switching up our fishing methods now. Uh, we ran out of heavy 12 ounce weights to get to the bottom of the, of the wreck, and it's very windy today. Uh, but we got good results. We caught a fish, and I, I lost a big fish, and uh, Brian got a bunch of bites too. Yeah. So we're going to switch it up. We're going to now be using some jigs, some brand new jigs we got from Blue Blue, I believe. And uh, this is a pink and silver and blue jig. Very pretty. They should catch a fish or two. Hopefully we don't lose it in the first drop. That's possible. Woo, it's hard work. All right. So we're still doing some wreck fishing. We moved to a different wreck. And uh, this wreck's in a little shallower, I think in 80 feet of water. And we're using a little jig that from Blue Blue. And I kind of was just changing up my jigging methods and kind of was like pulling it to the side, not up and down. Sorry about that, the battery died, um, but I was just explaining that instead of up and down jigging, I was kind of like side swiping like this and then reeling down and then just doing it very slowly and um, ended up catching that fish. And it's a rainbow runner, some sort of a, of a rainbow runner, and it had other fish with it. So this little jig did its job today. Pretty blue stripe on this fish. I remember actually um, snorkeling with these fish when we go for lobsters, sorry. All right, we're here 
here at my um, Palm Beach Marina Yacht Center, and this is Jake. And how old are you? Nine. He's nine years old. He's a big fan of my videos. He said I'm famous. So <laughs> he watches my videos every day, and he fishes a lot. So it's awesome to meet you, Jake. Give me a handshake. Awesome. You can keep catching fish. Keep on catching, right? Awesome. You'll be in my video, okay? Cool. Tackle time. I told you guys uh, we'd go over all the tackle we used to catch those couple fish today. And, you know, maybe we didn't uh, kill the fish today, but we'd use some good techniques that you guys can... Uh, can all use too. And the first thing I wanted to go over was the this uh, Hanta rods. Hanta was nice enough, and, and the, you guys uh, might have seen them in my iCast video or our iCast video. You picked up like a 10 pound ball, right? Yeah, like a big ball. I'll try and put that clip in. But uh, they sent us a couple rods, and we started using one today. And they're mostly known for their jigging. And this Hanta rod company, uh, they're really into this, you know, this great stuff, mostly jigging stuff, and, and using some of these Jap Japanese techniques and bring them over here. So here's this great rod, and we paired it with the SR6, and it really worked great today. So uh, check them out. We'll have the website uh, down below. Uh, so that's the, that's the new rod we were, we were using today. Um, and they sent us some lures. Uh, these are the jigs we were using today. The knife jig, we actually didn't catch anything on, on the deep wreck. But there are a bunch of guys next to us, and they didn't catch anything either, so I'm not blaming the jig. And that's a little jig we caught a little fish on the shallower wreck. You know, yes. So we're using a lighter jig Very on these shallower hooks. wrecks. Yeah, and it's from this company, Blue Blue. And uh, we'll have all the information in there. And so we're just, you know, just normal jigging uh, with that stuff. Uh, but uh, more importantly, I guess, or a little uh, more explanation necessary is the chicken rig. And, you know, the chicken rig is, is a basically a standard rig, which I would really say is more for what you might say. Just, I don't want to say garbage fish, but more, you know, you're going to catch almost anything on it. But you're not going to catch, you know, a lot of Quality times. fish. Yeah, you're not going to catch a lot of muttons on there and stuff like that because, you know, they're a lot more selective. But I had seen an episode of a, of a well-known television show. They were dropping these chicken rigs on wrecks and catching a lot of fish, so I figured I'd try it, drop it on a wreck. So uh, here's how I did it. Now, what I would do is, you know, what I would advise you to do is use 40-pound fluorocarbon to make this thing, but what I've been doing for years now is using Pink Andy instead of fluorocarbon. Um, we use 20-pound for a lot of bottom fishing, uh, for muttons and stuff, and that's from Eric E. Money, uh, a local captain around here who everybody knows, and he got us using that. And today, instead of using 40-pound fluorocarbon, I used 50-pound Andy Mono. And, and what's the reason for the pink? It's just because, it's like, when it gets under the water, it disappears, right? Well, that's, that's the rumor. A red light doesn't go deeper than, like, 15 or 20 feet. So, theoretically, it disappears. You know, I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, you may have to ask a scuba diver. Um, but, but it you works know, for us. Works for, yeah, it works. I haven't really noticed any difference between the uh, pink Andy Mono and uh, the fluorocarbon, quite frankly. But anyway, we bought, I got a whole spool of this 50 pound, and we've been using it for quite a while, but you can see, you know, we go through it. But anyway, you basically, and you, you know, you can look this up, but you basically take a stretch of this, and you make uh, some loops. And basically, a simple way is just make an overhand knot, and, and you double it. So I got the loop, and I go through there once, just like you're tying your shoes, but then you do it again. Twice. Yeah, twice. <laughs> And then you pull it. So now I got a loop. So in that loop, I'm going to put my weight. I'm using bank sinkers. Here we are, like this kind of sinker. And I was using a 12 ounce today. And you know, just depends on how deep it is and how fast the current's going. And then for chicken rig, you're going to make two more of those same loops. You know, that's again, that's the sinker. And then up some some amount of time, you're just going to do it again. Do another overhand, double overhand knot, what I would call it. You can also get fancy and make a and use a drop loop or a dropper loop. Make a dropper loop, um, and you can Google that. And I actually learned how to do those today, and I was using those. But this, when I've ever done them, it works fine. So now yeah. I got. And once you got all the loops, it's super easy to put the hook and the weight on. Yeah, you just hook the, you know, you just go through the, the hook hole, the eye, and you stick it on. And the same thing for the, you know, for the bank sinker. So you, you know, so you do three of those loops. You cut it off and you tie it on your pole, and you put your hooks on there. We were using circle hooks today. Must add uh, five o circle hooks. But you know, again, depends on how big your bait is and how big your fish is. You should show them real quick how that loop goes on. Some people might know that might not know this trick, so maybe this will right. be a tip for you, real eh, quick. It's not a trick, but okay. So basically, you never know. Same, same. This is the same thing with a hook. You got the eye. And I'm just going to stick this through here, right, and then it just loops around the weight. All right. Right around the weight. So now I got my weight. Yep. Now I'm, now I'm going to do the same thing in this loop with a hook, and then if I had another hook, I'd. Well, I'll just do it real quick, and you know, it just takes two seconds. You can make one of these rigs up. You got two loops. Yeah, you supposed to have two loops. It's a chicken rig. So there you go. All right, see two loops, and you put your hooks on there and your bait, and you drop it down, and you try to get the fish. And we caught a fish today, and then 
Darcy actually got chewed off on a huge fish. We don't even know what it was. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> so that was great. My biceps were worn. Yeah, I was, we do a lot of jigging, so that's, that's how we get our exercise. Yeah. And so, so that's really the gist of what we did today. And, you know, it kind of worked, and we caught some fish, and just went out kind of late and had a great time out on the water. And the last thing I want to mention, I want to give you a little update on the SJ cam. If you remember, I uh, mentioned this SJ cam. Not only backwards, upside down. Yes, I can. That's what I meant. <laughs> so the SJ cam I mentioned the other day. We're still using it. It's been working great. That's what I mentioned. It doesn't seem like it holds the battery life that, that long. So you might want to buy extra batteries, you know, when you get it off Amazon with Darcy's Amazon Same gateway. Same with the GoPro. Same. I always get extra. I have five batteries for my camera. Yeah. Like ten batteries for my GoPro. So you need extra batteries. Um, which is standard practice. So anyway, but you definitely need them for this too. Comments. Maybe that's just common sense. And uh, so that's it for tackle time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you actually learned some tips and tricks for you to use for your own fishing. And if you not, if you didn't, then I just hope you enjoyed this video. And if you notice behind us, we have some of Zoe's pictures, some of Zoe, Zoe's actual drawings and coloring. Very cool. And then I've also got Allie over here. So thank you guys. You guys are the best fans ever. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow with another adventure. Maybe we'll be offshore. Maybe we'll do some bass fishing. Not really sure yet. But hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big like. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.